people hello my fearfully and wonderfully makings and queens in the house welcome you all back to my channel welcome you all back to trisha almost tv guys yes so a place will bring all the mess on the street of social media and convert it to become message and pass it across to as many that has yet that want to make proper use of it guys thank you all so much all thanks to my old subscribers and my returnees thank you all so much for always return back to watch my video and please 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 if today is your first time of coming across my video please do not hesitate to hit the red button to subscribe and beside the red button there is a bell a notification bell beside the red button click on it to get notified whenever i upload a video so you can come and watch and pick the sense and leave the nonsense for those that still dwells on nonsense guys yeah so my people nothing when musa no go see for the street or social media nothing when pretty mike no go see for the uh, wedding of uh uh toy la one uh, la one you don't be smart you pretty mike when i know say that guy they always they show himself I no say I know who even first do one celebration like that when that when he first carry the six of them with pregnancy. Not be smart, you know, they even they, the way they they tell they allege when they take carry the news. They say pretty Mike arrive at uh, Tony Lawani's uh, uh, wedding venue with his head orange. So his uh, baby mama's not the six of them uh, was not the head orange head orange that you went there with. He went there with six and orange so which they are not referring to the six baby mamas with their babies you guys know now the last time he went to an occasion an invitation when he was invited the one particular occasion then was it last year or uh, early six of them so today now being the uh, toy lawani uh, lawani cell uh, uh, wedding day so he also went there today as an et orange with uh, six of them with six of the baby mama and their six baby with bun with a uh, baby bonnevon for babies they were all having their baby uh, bonnevon this uh, baby uh, bonnevon for baby so my people not in when musa no go see for the street or social media when i know say at times and some kind of things when go they when they happen for that country nigeria me i know they feel the thing i know they feel figure out anything this guy called Pretty Mike. I don't understand this guy. And I know say this our country, Nigeria, it get different ways when they the, when the problem they the affect each and every one of us. So some people they it get high they the affect them badly. Why some day it get high they the give the injection small small? Because I see no reason why only one single man. What are you doing with them? Is it an achievement? You know, different people look for fame in a different way and in a wrong manner. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty Mike. Now, what is this an achievement or what? What are you trying to say? What are you? What point are you making? What point are you making? So you just want people to notice you? Yes, you can do this. What are they for? Honestly, this world that we are in, eh, we don't really know who and who to believe on anymore. Honestly, when I still see the thing, I say, no, my ear, no, go let me not go feel here. This one go keep quiet too. Now, for there, I can see all the beautiful celebrity, all their males, all the sexy ladies, all the sexy ladies, all the sexy celebrity, all the sexy celebrities. So I can't see all of them. They were all on their best, guys. Wow, I love Anita Joseph and her husband attire. They they had the uniform anyway. It was black lace. Is it lace? I don't know. It was black fabrics. So they were all on blacks. It's like that is the wedding I should be. So guys, it was wow. Congratulations to you, Toy Lawani. Congratulations. I wish you many more blessings. I pray that God Almighty will bless your home with many children, with many reasons for you to stay there. I pray that God Almighty, with His infinite mercy, will bless your home and uh, bless the walls of your hands. Thank you. Because uh, wedding is a beautiful thing. Even the Bible says, Who that find a wife and a good thing and obtain favor, favor for God Almighty Himself. So my people, I celebrate with them because me, I love celebrating the living. I don't believe in celebrating people when they are dead. So please, let's learn to celebrate one another. Congratulations to you, Toy. Congratulations on your new home. And I pray that God Almighty should strengthen you. He should give you the grace to bear. He should give you the, the grace to be patient. Grace to be tolerant. Grace to be humble. Grace to, to abound. Because... 
most things those are the things the little things you think they are not important are the most important things in marriage so i wish you all the best on your on your wedding and now uh, the next on our list my people now no say today now i be our uh, uh democracy day in nigeria june 12th my people i don't really understand whether is it not this said in nigeria that they, they those days that when we were in secondary school they defined democracy as the government of the people and for the people and by the people how come now with the nigerians with the citizens of nigeria they don't even allow anyone to make speech when you are making speech and the speech is no longer working in their favor they will just cut you off they will not even give you room to express yourself you are, the freedom of speech is not even allowed in my country, Nigeria. Why? And which is not supposed to be so. Now, let I declare the day, say, today, na democracy day. What is democracy? Is it not freedom of speech? Is it not an avenue where everyone will come out and express their feelings, what they feel and what they think and what they see is not right or what they, they think we need to do to, work, to put ourselves back to track? How come today being the democracy day, you, freedom of speech is not allowed? Look at Lagos today. Look at how they, they are driving them. See Ojota. Ojota was like a cemetery. They have to drove them. In fact, they drove them out on. They drove them out of that place, and which is not supposed to be so. It's, it was not supposed to be so, because you guys were the one that declared today as democracy day. Democracy is the government of the people. You guys should have allowed the people to express their feeling, their, what they think is going wrong in the country. That's why you guys will not listen. Because it's the same thing that happened during NSAS. After all the souls that have gone on during NSAS, Nati, today we still there where we did. No headway. We are still where we used to. And we are even worse than now. Look at the way full of yes, men are killing people. Look at the kidnappers everywhere. Demanding for ransom of millions, 180 millions. Without even being considerate of how those people can raise the money. Where are we really heading to? Eh? Okay, look at everybody laying the blames on Ibuari. Ibuari this, Ibuari that, Ibuari that. Do you guys know that every law, every state has a location? Every state has a location that is being sent to every state to, 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 to repair the roads, to do some other stuff. Every state has a location that is being allocated to them on every month. What are the governors doing with the money? They are all using the money to enrich themselves. Even our traditional ruler, they are well paid. Because they also have their own role to play in the community, in the states. But what are they all doing with the money? Everybody is blaming Ibuari, Ibuari, Ibuari. If not for God that disgraced these people during COVID, how how little do we know that all those pilot, uh, palliative foods were donated to various states? If not that God disgraced these our people during COVID nineteen, how how will how, how we will foretell no say there was a lot of palliative foods that was the, that was the, the, the dispatched to all states in Nigeria? Is it not when God started disgracing them from one state to another? All the palliative food they, 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 they hid, all the things they, they hid in different corners, they started bringing them out. Everybody will be blaming Ibuari. When that palliative food arrived in Nigeria, Ibuari have to share it and send it to different states. Ibuari never leave all those things in, in, in Abuja there. He had to dispatch it to different 36 states of Nigeria. What did the, the governors do? All the governor they hide the, they they hide all the palliatives within their cells. the national house of assembly. There they were the one distributing the thing. Working who want to celebrate a birthday will be giving palliative food as a as a as a uh, exchange of gift. As a souvenir. Palliatives are supposed to be shared among the, the among the, the the among the people of that state. Everything, Buari, 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 Buari. If Buari could have all those food during that uh, COVID, if not that God disgrace you all accordingly, all these state governors are the problem we are having in Nigeria. I'm going to forget all these things. If Buari alone cannot carry Nigeria problem on his head, that is why he has state governors that is supporting him. 
That is why anything that comes into the country, you we hold a meeting with all the 36 state governors. Each state has their own allocation and what that allocation is being dispatched for. But how many of them are using it? None of them, none. They are all using the money to enrich themselves, buying cars for their, uh, their, their side chick, the building houses for them, building, building mansion, and uh, enriching their families without using the money properly. The purpose of that money being sent was never used. So who are we really to blame? Who are we to let blame so? Eh? Today now they say now democracy. The democracy is supposed to be the government of the people and for the people and by the people. And we are the people. We don't even have freedom of speech. And for the people, we are still the people. We don't have freedom of speech. Only Abuja, at, at, at last for Abuja, they can't still pursue them. Why? You guys can never give someone the uh, opportunity to express this or our feeling. That is the country we are in now. Operation, do, operation, do your, do your own Talk your talk inside your house. Don't bring it here. Your opinion is even to the extent, even when they are in a parliament meeting, look at the way they are even fighting themselves. So, oh, Nigeria, my country. Nigeria, my country. My Nigeria, my country. What What is all this? What is all this? What is all this? Fighting over things that are not, that are not important. That are not important. What is going on? What is going on? Anyway, my people, they say enough is enough for the wise. Let's do that has here, let them hear. If you are in that country, just see how you can sort yourself out to, because this is one man's world. You are from your state. Fight your battle by yourself and for yourself and by yourself. That is what I've come to realize in that our country, Nigeria. Stop looking not to government or looking not to your state governor. You are your, 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 in fact, you are from your state. Leave those people out of it. They don't even know the problem they are. Even then on their own, their own problem is even bigger than the state himself. So, guys, let's just focus on what God can do for you. And also focus on what you know it can give you increase. Stop lazing around. Stop blaming government. Go out there and see what you can do for yourself. Gone are the days you you will be fold your hands and fold your hands and be waiting for manna to fall from heaven. No, it doesn't work that way. Go out there, leave your comfort zone. Go and see what you can do for yourself. Because the era that we are in, nice operation, fight for yourself. Operation, operation, invest for yourself. Operation, set yourself up. So don't put all your eggs in one basket, hoping for government or hoping for president to come and sort your problem out for you, my dear sister, my dear brother. You are on your own, though. That is what I have to say on this particular video, my dear people. Thank you all so much for watching, and God bless you, my wonderful.